also in Studio City at, at one time, this is all in the book, um, you thought that uh, somebody had put a, a, um, a rat or a rat had died in the dumpster. Yeah, in my trash can, actually. It was my physical trash can. Yes. I didn't know it at first. The woman from across the alley in Studio City, I know. She's <laughs> never going to want to see. She hasn't seen me for 35 years. She's not going to want to see me anymore. <laughs> but trust me, I had nothing to do with any of this. Wait. But I, the neighbor lady across the way says, is your cat okay? I said, what do you mean is my cat okay? My cat's fine. I'm afraid it crawled under the house and died. I don't think so. I saw it just earlier. T- oh, there it is. There's my cat. My cat's fine. There's my cat. Okay, so I think a cat died under your, uh, oh God, yeah, I can smell it, but it's not a cat, I said to her, I said, it's a rat, because I'd just been at a friend's house and in the attic a rat had died, and I thought that was a smell unique to rats. It is not, it's a mammal, and they smell basically alike when they're decomposing. So, I, and then I picked up the lid to the trash can, because it seemed to be coming from my trash can. Whoa, something, I said, somebody hit a dog or something, or maybe something bigger, look like, what is that? And I covered it up. Somebody must have hit a dog and put it in the dumpster because they didn't want to deal with the, the liability of killing someone's dog. Mm-hmm. I, so I went to the bank and said, call the animal control and I'll be back in a little while. They need to talk to me. I came back. It wasn't animal control. There's all these detectives and cops and I can't get in my back gate with my bike and I go through the front. Uh, there's a cop waiting for me. He says, Mr. Begley, can you uh, such and such, you, where do you live? I said, I live right here. What's the problem? I was trying to look over the fence. Stay, stay with me. Do not go near the fence, Mr. Begley, please. Okay, so what's this about? And I, he said, have you seen anybody near your place dumping anything unusual? I said, no, what happened? What's, is there something in my dumpster? Did somebody hit an animal? No, no, never mind. Stay away from the fence, please. So, of course, now, hearing all this, i got to get up on the roof and see what's out there. What, still, you don't, your mind doesn't work like that. You don't think, what am I, you know, you think, is it a dog? What the hell is it? I went, what is that? Is that like a saddle? Or, oh, my God, that's a torso. That's a head. That's two arms. That's two legs. I had it all laid out, and they're taking pictures of this person who was cut up and left in my dumpster. Did you, fi- did you find out who it was? About six months to nine months later. There was Saw a, a picture in the paper, and he went, oh, yeah. That's somebody I had a drink with. No. <laughs> <laughs> that poor woman I never met. It was a woman, uh, a years. young woman. I just, it's sad, sad to think about how that woman, what happened to the took her from her mother's arms to that trash can there in Studio City. I, can't, I don't want to think about it. I can't imagine. That was in happened. front of your house. It was in my his, alley, right in the back of my can. alley. It was, my, it was my, oh no, two other body parts were in my friend James Jeremiah's <laughs> alley. I'm sorry. <laughs> your friend. You're, it's Jim. just around you? It's just you and yeah, your friends? Yeah, he lived down the block for me then. And <laughs> just you and your friends? <laughs> me and James Jeremiah. Yeah. How is this happening to you? <laughs> well, nothing's really happening to me. It's kind of happening to these other poor Just people. all around you. It seems to be around yeah. me. I know. 